Uh, good evening, bloggers. Uh, Devin here with Focus Blog. Um, just here to uh, talk about our blog post on power structures and debates to stay in a sustainability <laughs> there we go um, it's due tomorrow the 21st and we have to analyze three of the following sources uh, the three sources that we've decided to choose from are the story of stuff uh, any discussion that resonated with you in class being the story of the little girl going into the store wanting something at all like she just had to have something uh, because who doesn't go into a store and doesn't buy something? It's impossible to go into a store and not get something. Uh, and then, of course, no impact, man. <laughs> uh, so, the most important quotes, concepts from each of the films. Um, I would say the theme that stands out in both the story of stuff and no impact, man. Uh, the theme that we do rely heavily on a lot of stuff and we have gotten used to it being in our lives um, we really some of the stuff we don't need but we want it anyway and I'm a prime example I have you can see this over here do you see that we over there that was uh, stuff I had to have I had to have a we um, I have not touched that thing probably in a good year. So it's, you know, <laughs> it's something we just, we have to have it. Um, and even with No Impact Man, the fact that they were living life with luxuries such as, you know, the wife coffee all the time and uh, other luxuries that people live with. Um, yeah, so that was some of the concepts. I think it was just the, the fact that as human beings, we've, we've grown accustomed to things, uh, some of us are spoiled with stuff and I'm no exception. I'm very spoiled with all my stuff. So I think it's just that concept and that idea. Uh, the personalities of folks in these films, the only personalities I really have to go by, uh, the lady from the story of stuff, really, her personality, she was more or less just reading off. It's a very robotic. But um, the personalities of the folks from their Impact Man, I do give them credit. They were real, genuine people. Um, I don't believe there was much acting or much scripting to it. Uh, I do think that you know, more power to him. He had a cause. Now, granted, I think it was a bit silly, and I think he's a little bit selfish, but it was his cause, and he completed, you know, he went through and did it, so more power to him. Um, describe the character's approach to sustain to sustainability in each of the films. Um, no impact man, and I guess the story of stuff, sustain, sus, sustainability, there we go, um, you know, that word, we talked about it in class, I think it's just responsibility, being responsible, um, taking care of what is around you, um, I think that's one of the things that we need to, to stay focused with. And I believe that in both of the films, they produced a message of responsibility. Like, hey, this is what's happening. We need to be responsible enough to do something about it. Um, so I do think they both had those themes in there. Uh, what do you think each character's motivations were in each of the films? The story of stuff, the lady, I believe... Um, she was she had studied quite a bit. I mean, in both the gentlemen from No Impact Man, they had both done their research. Um, their motivations differ. The guy from No Impact Man, I'm pretty sure he was doing this in part to sell his book to make money. 
Um, but hey, publicity, stuff like that, anybody want, everybody wants to be on TV. It's their 15 minutes of fame. And I'm, I've never heard of the man until I saw the movie, so he, it must not have been that long of 15 minutes. But um, I think it's genuine motivation. I, I do believe that there was some selfishness and some aspects of trying to make money or wanting to make money. But for the most part, I do believe they had the environment and they had their what they feel like sustainability is uh, to them and their message. Um, and with what approach do you resonate most and why? Um, I'm not too sure I understand that question. Silly me. So I'll just tell you which one I like the most. Um, it would have to be the, the story of stuff. And that's simply because there's so much stuff that I have. You know, I have a house full of stuff back home in Halifax, Virginia. And then I got a cabin here in Harrisonburg that's full of stuff. I mean, it's just like one person. I've, I'm only 20 years old. And so... Uh, <sighs> I just can't believe I've acquired so much stuff. Like, I think of those people on the Hoarders show, like hoarding buried alive. It's it's like they have all this stuff, and it just takes over their life, and it's what they they you know they have an obsession with it. And maybe as Americans, we do have an obsession with our stuff. I mean, I have three iPods. Do I need three iPods? No, but I have I have the classic, I have the nano, and I have the touch. It's just you don't want to get rid of stuff like that. I mean, I have two digital cameras. One of them is busted and this and that. I have, like I said, a Wii that I don't play. I have about 100 DVDs that I don't watch. It's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I could show you my you know I will come on come with me on a little tour vloggers and just to show you uh, the screen is moving around just a bit but just to show you that I am a sincere person we'll stop here first I have two rooms of stuff this room was used as a closet rack Yes, shirts that I hardly wear. I bought this printer that I don't use. Mm, crazy, huh? It was on a Black Friday sale, so I got it for like 12 bucks. Alrighty, and finally, this is my room where I sleep at. As you can see, this is one of my closets. That's all t-shirts and, sh you know, stuff like that. Ridiculous, all that stuff. And then all those DVDs that, you know, do I really need that? Mm, who knows? But getting back to the point, I'll move now to the next bit here. Um, uh, we're going to find a scholarly, scholarly article. But then... Tomorrow in class, you're in for a treat because we're going to have a bit of a trashing show. Uh, we're going to make some stuff and bring it into class and let some folks try it on. And let them walk down the catwalk, see how sexy they are in trash. <laughs> so, there we go. I have done what I set out to do. I have successfully blogged in under 10 minutes. Go me. Alrighty, so this is Devin uh, for Morgan as well. We're reporting out for focus. Stay classy, Internet. Oh, there it goes. Peace to your mama. <laughs>